Jonas' fiance. You don't think that might be a problem? No. As long as the terms of reference are specific, there can be no issue. She has no bearing. problem. No. No. He's um, anxious. Did you reassure him of our continued commitment? Of course I did. But there's been a call for an independent environmental study. Hello. Look, I'm sorry, Mum, but there is absolutely no way that I can get to the school. Please, just this afternoon. I'll pick her up tonight. OK. Look, Mum, I've got to go. The latest chapter in this kidnapped drama played out in a public park in central Johannesburg with eyewitnesses describing a gunfight between police and the kidnappers. Police spokeswoman Martha Marie has requested that anyone with information regarding the abduction or location of baby Joe contact Inspector Satebe on 082-800-300. Tell me it wasn't you. I'm not that stupid, mother. But I can't say I'm not pleased. They will think it is us, and they will revoke the lease. We must phone them and tell them that we are innocent. Mother, whoever did this will reveal themselves soon enough. Yes. I thought you'd want to know that the Abayomi brother and the Onoriode are on our trail. They are sniffing around. Don't touch them. It'll force a bigger investigation. I think you should help them find what they're looking for. Well, believe me, there are a lot of people who'll jump at it. Now, what else have you found out about him? Active in the underground. So you think he's a snake? <coughs> yeah. You know what my headmaster used to say at school? You take the naughtiest boy and you make him a prefect, he becomes the most vigilant when you bring him into the fold. So what, you want to take him in? I want this deal, Jay. I want Brunt to be the uranium supplier. I don't know, I think he's too... Yes, this is Chief Abayomi. Well, that's outrageous. On what grounds do you suddenly decide to terminate the Abayomi agreement? Yes, I will take this up with your Dallas office. Thank you. Ah, my son. It's wonderful to see you. Ah, this new heart is ticking like a brand new clock, strong as ever. The doctor says I could last for another 30 years. Yesterday, if I'd heard that, Mr. Gao, tell me, have you studied the long-term impact of radiation on people living in the proximity of nuclear power plants? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That's all the time we have for today.